Welcome to the Senior Living Experience YouTube channel. Welcome back for those of you that have seen some of our previous videos. Today I wanted to share with everyone a new downloadable PDF forms you can download directly from our website. Um, they're titled Creating Your Plan, a Series of Checklists. And what this is, I'm going to run through them really quickly in this video, is what we believe is and what we, we are you're going to hear us continually talking about in our videos is plan, plan, plan. You can never start planning soon enough for your downsizing move. Whether that's you, um, you're going through this yourself and you're considering the downsizing move, or if I'm, um, if you're the son or daughter of a senior who you know is considering a downsizing move, it's never too early to start planning. So the documents we're going to share today, this series of checklists, I'm going to walk through them very quickly. But what they are is they're checklists for you to print off and use in your planning and start the conversation, start the planning so that you're documenting some of these thoughts and getting pen to paper so that when the time does come, um, it can really kind of set the tone and get you in the right mindset of um, what your next steps are going to be. So to get started, the first checklist, step one, is talking through your challenges. Um, this is going to be a document that's going to ask you a few questions, such as, what is the single biggest problem you're trying to solve? Are there any current health issues you have that are causing you to go want to go one way or another when it comes to senior housing? Um, how soon do you expect to move into a new facility? What's your timeline look like? Um, again, very basic questions related to any challenges you might be facing right now. The next checklist is related to your health. So it asks um, if your health were to change quickly, what would be your preference? Would you rather have someone move into your home um, here, you know, in your current home and help you? Um, would you rather move to a facility that can support you? Would you rather have a family member come help and support you in your home? Um, again, just things to think about. Some other questions on here are, um, what type of medical care, medical care services do you need now or you foresee yourself needing in the future? The next checklist is preferences. Um, this is exactly like what it says. It's just asking, you know, where do you want to live? If price is not an issue, um, where, what facilities do you really love and do you really like? What's prompted you to start the search? Um, are there any certain needs or wants like do you we've met with some seniors who really want an outdoor swimming pool um, so is that an important thing for you to put down on this preferences list so then you're looking at communities that have an outdoor swimming space um, do you want to be close to a church um, or is there a certain you know community or entertainment or restaurants that you know you want to be close to um, the next one is related to the housing. So do you have a specific housing need now? This kind of talks more about are you needing, um, looking for independent care? Um, so an independent living community. Are you looking for maybe a higher level of care, which would require you to go to more of an assisted living type facility? Um, these are questions you'll see on this checklist. Um, and then other housing related questions. Do you need to rent a storage facility? If you're moving into a furnished facility, what is your plan for the current furniture? Um, how long will it take you to sell your home? Um, so the next checklist is related to relationships. So this is, um, are, you, do, are you currently married? Do you have a spouse that you're living with? Is the spouse going to move with you? Um, what else is on here? Do those in your circle have any present concerns regarding your health or safety? Uh, do you have that top advisor already assigned? Um, is it a family member? Um, what role are they going to play in determining your next housing choice? Um, and then also a little more detailed, is there a family member or friend that you want to make sure you're living close to in your new home? Another checklist in here is number six, which is your advisory team. You've probably heard us talk about this a lot also. Um, who's on your advisory team? If you don't know what this is and you don't have to have one already, please get one. And that could be as simple as a really good friend, a spouse, a relative, a daughter, a son. It could be multiple people on your advisory team. Um, just get someone that you support or that supports you and that you trust so that you can share these items with and talk through these items with as well. Um, next one is smooth transition. So 
How is your, you know, when you do move, what's your plan with your home? Is it going to be passed on to family? Are you going to sell it? Um, how will you sell it? Um, is there a health or mobility issue? And if there is, who's the caretaker or assistant going to be? Um, who's kind of going to be in charge of this process to make sure that um, utilities get transferred over? Well, you're not transferring them over, but utilities get shut off at your current um, home. Um, a utility you might transfer over is internet. Uh, so do you have internet set up at your new home? Who's going to help you with that? Another checklist we have on here is your personal budget. So do you use a monthly budget? What financial sources do you have available to pay for your next level of housing? If you plan to sell your home, how much do you plan to receive from the sale of your home? Um, if you don't need senior housing right now, when do you think you will need it? And then kind of relaying that into your budget as saying, when is the right time for your senior housing plan to kind of action, action plan to go into effect? Um, so that was just quick overview of a few checklists, eight actually to be precise, um, that you can download off of our website that, again, just help with the plan, plan, plan. Um, which is what we always recommend. And um, we're always here to help. Please reach out. We're happy to discuss in more detail any of these checklists and any other questions you might have related to your senior housing transition. So until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. See you all soon.